Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I am here today with some brand new dies from Surprise Creation but I'm also here to show you a couple of projects from my haul from a couple of weeks ago. I've seen a lot of complaints from people saying that people are hauling videos but they're not doing anything with them. That's something that I try really hard not to do and sometimes we can be sent an awful lot but I do try to use them all and make plenty of projects. So from a couple of weeks ago this is that lovely jagged edge book die. I'll measure this. It's huge. I didn't use all of the big ones. It is cut line to cut line, almost 11 and a quarter inches. But to get it through the opening of your machine there, you're going to need seven and... Ooh, you're going to need eight inches. Sorry, I was forgetting about this point down here. So that's 11 and a quarter by eight inches that you're going to need to be able to fit that one through. Now, I also used from a couple of weeks ago these art shape tags with the same kind of decal edge, I think is the word to use. I think on the website they call it a torn edge which is probably more appropriate than decal. So I used those and from about two months ago, this set which has party, a balloon and a tiny little string there. So I've used those and these reaching over are my projects. So I made this cute little tag with party on it and this paper is from you artists so i did that one i haven't threaded it up yet because i can't find my gold twine i have so many ribbons and twines that sometimes things get a bit lost so i need to thread that one up but there is that gorgeous edge and that super pretty paper the next one is I use the book die and you can see if I lay it down on top of these you can see which sizes I used here and I'll actually measure this finished card which is eight and a half inches so I use the smaller ones and then mounted it onto just um, cut cardstock that I put through my guillotine there, layered a few things up and used that U Artist paper again and used a little bit of gold foiling here and that is also using a Surprise Creation um, Torn Edge die from their circle set. <clears throat> Excuse my throat. So those are projects from dies that I received a couple of weeks ago. And now I'm going to show you the brand new stuff. Right, so here we go. Listening to people, as Surprise Creation do, they've come out now with a set of dies which are perfect layering card size. Now we have this dot perforation which will do the aperture and the outside uh, that's left of your cardstock. We have a straight edge for layering up. Always useful because sometimes it's not always easy to measure um, your card stock and get the correct border. But when you've got dies like that, it makes layering up super easy. There's your smaller version there for your torn edge. And then you've got the double stitch edge, which is super pretty. I do love stitching on dies. And those are all the same size. And I'm going to measure those so that you can see them there. These will go through any die cutting machine. And from cut edge to cut edge is five and a half inches. And the width of those is four and a quarter. So those are your perfect card size dies there. Next up, we have. These are Nicole's designs and this is a planner page with torn edge and you've also got a brick wall here. And I will measure that one. 
and that is eight and a quarter by five and a half. And then I received the window, which is absolutely glorious. I mean, you don't have to use these as planner dies. You can use them as album dies. And this would make a great cover for um, a Christmas card, actually. If you cut two and then use ribbon to tie them together, this would make a beautiful Christmas card with a view outside to the trees and the snow or a view inside to the fireplace and all of the Christmas ornaments and decorations and things. But it's just absolutely gorgeous window or a door, you know, like one of those large fancy arch uh, patio doors. Once again, eight and a quarter by five and a half. And then we've got the loopy edge circle that comes with these great little layering dies. Things like this are always great for stacking up for embellishment. So even if you didn't use them with this, this is a great stacker. And look at the detail on that edge. It's just super, super pretty. So measuring again. And we have five and a half by eight and a quarter. I am going to be making these up for tomorrow. Maybe not all of them, but I'm coming back with samples. And then once again, five and a half by eight and a quarter. And on this one, you've got the lovely stars, which is great for the 4th of July. You've got this element that can be stacked up. And then you've got the two fleur de -lis hinges there. Just really, really lovely. And this one that I'm super excited about is just the planner edges. Now, you don't have to use the whole thing. You can actually, for example, if you cut out one of these and you wanted to turn it into a mini album, then you can just position it down there onto this die where you can see centering up those three holes and you can just cut super super easy it's just going to be a great way to use all of your dies anything that you've got from cards now large ones or small you can turn into planner pages i mean something like this there goes my phone is going to be excellent just for cutting short strips for doing all of your colour samples and your washi tape samples and just having them as little dividers between your planner pages and I'm going to measure that and that's eight and a quarter that's probably my doctor by the way that's calling so there we have the surprise creation dice for today and I will be back with samples tomorrow you have a wonderful day as usual. All links below. Bye.